has Hell Jr. Why do you have my arm? Mm. That's why. That I brought it in my hand. Uh. Why are you beating my hand up? That. Well, actually, you're beating on you. How? What are you doing? I got your hand. I got your hand. Why? I got it out. Why are you doing that to my arm? I want to do it to take out. Don't you do that to Freya. <laughs> Calm down. You're shaking her. I met your arm. Oh, yeah? What are you doing to me? <laughs> Those spiders got you. They got in the bed again and they're tickling. Uh oh, hey, look, you upset your sister. Freya. Freya. Oh, you really upset her. You really upset her by messing with daddy. You upset her by messing with daddy. You okay, Freya? Are you concerned when he messes with me? Yeah. Are you concerned? I'm glad you're concerned. He is, he is quite the buff. I liked it. And I wanted to eat it. What? You're going to eat my hand? Yeah. Look at that big boy down there. He's just laying there. And then you got this one right here, too. He's just laying there. Now he's up. Now he's up. He knew we were talking about him. There we go. I got there, Oh, hell. crap. Oh, crap. He's coming for me. What do you want, Bailey? He wants you to love him. Why? Why do I have to love him? No, ah. Bob. Ah. <laughs> you hit my head too much. What are you doing? <laughs> you big monster. Jeez. <laughs> What's this one doing? Hey! What are you doing? <laughs> Golly. Why are both of you so crazy today? Why are you crazy? And why is he crazy? <laughs> Get down. Get down. What? <laughs> Look at him! He's getting up on the bed! <laughs> Bailey! Down! <laughs> hey! No! Hey, you stop! Hey, he's getting too wild because you. Can you stop? Do you want to go nose the wall? Do you want to go nose the wall? You want to go nose the wall? You better get off my bed! Get down! Right now. Going heading to the doctor. I am. This is a uh, my like checkup appointment, and uh, this is to, for the doctor to go over all uh, the physical therapy notes and um, you know see where we're at as far as 
can we do anything more with my back and knees? The issue is we still don't know what's wrong with them because it's like, it's certain things is what sets them off. Um, but my back is constantly in pain, even right from when I wake up. So from a state of rest, getting out of bed, it's already already not feeling good. So that's, that's definitely concerning and uh, but my knee is, it's, it's intermittent. It's not like all the time, but I know what triggers it. So like running triggers my knees and uh, it's definitely not good for me trying to, you know, do physical activities with the military. Um, and it hurt both my knees when I was overseas so that really that that's what we're trying to figure out is what what can be done so either way today we're gonna go um, I need the doctor to fill out some paperwork for the military as far as my limitations and I only have a couple more months before to you know figure out what's wrong before they put me in front of a med board and uh, determine if I am able to stay in the military or not we'll see between my back and knees I don't know I am I'm limited on what I can do so that's that's concerning uh, so we'll see if they, you know, kick me out. I mean, my contract will take me to 21 years of service. I am just under 20 years. So by the time like a med board would make their decision, I, I should be at 20 years. But still, you know, I'd be getting kicked out like a year ahead. So we'll see what the doctor says today. Maybe, who knows, maybe he knows uh, he's got like a plan or something for me to be like, all right, we're gonna do this next. I'm hoping that's what it is. I'm hoping he says we're gonna get an MRI on my back. That'd be, that'd be nice to see because x-rays don't really show anything. I mean, they show a little bit, but not what's really like probably causing all my issues. <laughs> so yeah, I'm hoping that he orders that, I can go get that done, and can we go from there? But as far as physical therapy goes, unless he's got like a new like course of action for physical therapy, we're, we're looking like we're done. Like it's not making enough progress to be effective. And when it comes to that, unless you make enough progress, the insurance company wants to see progress being made, otherwise they don't want to pay for it. So we're kind of at that point of, are we making enough progress or not? And it sounds like it's not. So we have to maybe try something new. So that's, that's what I'm doing today. I got a bunch of papers for the doctor couple to fill out but then just like documentation supporting documentation stuff like that for him to review uh, I'm gonna I also I'm gonna ask him about it's called a nexus letter basically a physician writes a letter that based on um, a variety of things can say yes your injuries or uh, your current state is due to you know military service or this during military service and basically at just about 20 years military does break you it can break you down so it would only make sense I don't know if he's the person that can write a nexus letter I, uh, I just heard about it recently and kind of looked at the stuff online for it so I printed out an article and to kind of remind me to ask but we'll see what he says about that so I'm 
not too far away from the doctor. We'll uh, hopefully get some answers here. Happy shortly. meal today, my Fat Fit Fun. I have not opened it yet. So, you guys have been following me for a little while. You know, I enjoy um, these subscription boxes. I get the Fat Fit Fun for myself, I get the Bow Box for Freya, and then I also get um, the Home Chef as well. But this is their winter box. So it comes with the basics of explaining what stuff is, some coupons and stuff. Y'all can see the code if you want to use it. $15 off your first FabFitFun box. So if you're thinking about it, here's a code for you. Um, little sticker. Wine. Lucky scratch off. Ooh, I don't drink a lot, but that's that. Let's get into the good stuff. So a little dark chocolate kind bar. One second love. I'm doing school. You're doing school? Okay, good job. Little kind bar. Okay. I got this, which I wanted to try. Anything that is like a teeth whitening, I enjoy. So we're going to try that. I'm excited about that one. Uh, what is this? This is the lip scrub. And then, what is this one? Lash, Limitless Lash Mascara. I just like this because I can always try new products. And it's not that expensive. Apple Cider Vinegar Dry Shampoo Powder. Oh, that'll be interesting. Because I know ACV is really good for your hair. Scrunchies. Countries are so popular right now, and I will use these because baby girl loves grabbing my hair. Um, these I was excited about. These are lined slipper socks. Let's see if I can open them and give you guys a better look. All right. Oh, stuff's falling out of them. All right. Here we go. So they're just that really pretty knit. They got the little rubber on the bottom so they're non-slip. But then they have the super, super soft interior. I love slipper socks in the winter, especially here in Wisconsin where it gets really stinking cold. Uh, what's this one? This is uh, Collagen Infusion. Um, let's see, reduces the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles in two hours, huh, to use AM and PM massage evenly over a clean face, neck, and chest. Well, I'm going to be 30 in February, so skincare is important. And then... Get Well Nail Recovery, Jet Well, what is this? Uh, apply one coat on bare nails and allow to dry. Use twice weekly for best results. This is going to be good because I have fairly long nails, but they like to chip over time, and I don't get my nails done just because I don't, but... Just a little clear polish to keep them strong. Yeah. That'll be really nice. I used to use this like pinkish one and ran out and have never replaced it. But yeah, that is what is in my FabFitFun this season. And it's seasonal. And you can change what you want to get, when you want to get it. But... I love getting this box. Now I gotta make Bjorn some toast. Oh, it does not want to focus on anything. There we go. He's over there. I'm gonna make him some toast. Girl, she's being a little booty. Look at 
Look at Bjorn and Bailey. <laughs> just right. Bailey's chewing up an old mat. What a weirdo. Taking it away from him multiple times and he's, he keeps grabbing it and chewing it up. As if he doesn't have enough toys to chew. <laughs> Bjorn is playing his magic fighting. So far, Bailey's like, yeah, you're not really trying to mess with me, so... Yeah, so he still does his little, you know, the little, like, puppy bites where he'll, like, go and try to give you a little little bite, but nothing too hard. So, but enough to, to make you be like, ah, what are you doing? Don't bite me. Look at these two just playing outside in the yard. Look at them. Goofballs. <laughs> He's such a big monster. Oh, oh boy. Little girl. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, what's wrong with ya? Oh, Drake, get, get out of her face. What are you doing, Drake? Oh boy, it's dirty. You can see dirty window down here. Go up higher, much cleaner without the kids and dogs touching. Oh, baby found something. Oh, oh my goodness. You don't want to be in the video? Okay. Check this diaper, see if it's an issue. Or maybe oh, she might want to come back. Maybe that's her deal. This Pets United movie. I'm making something a little bit different tonight. I am doing... Right, hold on, let me grab it. Duck. We are doing duck. They had this at Aldi. I have never cooked duck before, but I know we like duck. Um, I'm just doing this on the pan so it don't doesn't get... Me. I don't eat it. I don't like that. You don't know if you don't like it. You've never had duck. I do. I did. When did you have duck? Daddy, it is I not... Want, it... I was one too. Oh, when you were two? Yeah. Oh. I'm, uh, I'm... And, and, and you did And you didn't... You did eat it. Oh, I'm and, I'm I'm pretty sure mommy has never made duck before. You did. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Alright. So there's a big flap of extra skin on the duck right here. I'm gonna cut that off. So it's not flopping around. I'm actually gonna do this on the rotisserie. I've watched some videos on it. And rotisserie is just easiest. So, come on, I want to turn the wings so they don't flop around. There we go. And then I think I need, hmm, some twine. I've heard also there's some like, this is pretty fatty, so I think I'm going to score that as well. I'm going to take all this. And I'm gonna put it, actually, I'm just gonna take this all to the sink. That way I can rinse it, pat it dry, because anything like this that's all wet, you wanna dry it off before you season it. All and right, <laughs> that is done. I just threw it on some paper towel. That way the bottom's getting dry. I pat the top dry also. Cause yeah, I don't want it all juicy before seasoning it. Try and get it as dry as possible. David, what? Oh, I didn't know there was stuff there inside of it. I thought it was cleaned out. I was obviously wrong. 
what? It is this day. I will not be cooking with the giblets. Um, however, they do make a good stock if you want a good stock. So you don't have to discard them. But I will be. Because I don't want to deal with that. For the meat, I want a very sharp knife so it goes through the skin easily. I actually, I said score the meat. I don't want to score the meat. I just want to score the skin and fat. Ooh, I gotta go a little bit lighter than that. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I don't want to cut into the meat. I just want to cut through the skin. Just to help the fat render a little bit better. There we go. rotation no heat okay that's what I want and then we want we'll do an hour and then check it but I do have a um, grate that goes over this bottom piece however I want to do duck fat potatoes so this is starting with just that bottom one that way once this is cooked for a while, I can cook some potatoes down here in the duck fat and they will be amazing. Duck fat is already delicious. So if you can have like fresh duck fat and then you cook the potatoes in it, it's gonna be so good. I got from Aldi's so I'm just gonna cut them in half so they cook a little bit easier <laughs> do you want to know Day. My beginning will be as bright as the sun Come, won't you come along And it feels so bright It's like luck is raining on me Go and follow your heart Doesn't matter how far There is so much love to give Something's telling me this time Baby, baby, now I know Baby, baby, gotta go There is so much love right, to so. give as you can see, the duck's looking good. I did nuke the potatoes to give them a little bit of a head start when it comes to the cooking process. But I'm assuming the duck's gonna have another 30 minutes to an hour. So I'm just putting these at the bottom. To grab my oven mat. That way I can are going to cook at the bottom of the rotisserie as the duck finishes but 
I like, I wanted to get the duck in cooking for, it's been about an hour um, already. So, actually I'll give you guys a little bit more of a close up of what it's looking like. There we go. There's that pretty duck. The nice thing about rotisseries is it's naturally basting itself in its fat when it twists, but you're also not having it sit in fat, just the potatoes. And I'm thinking we're gonna do some Brussels with it, so this is gonna be amazing. probably not the way you're supposed to cut it cut up a duck at all um but that's fine i'm gonna save the carcass for some soup um or who knows bobby may just literally pick off of it till the meat's all gone but i got enough meat off that i can make up the boys plates because they don't like um eating off the bones so that was my biggest thing the potatoes I think I need to throw them in one I need to rotate them while they're in there um I didn't do that so like one side got cooked better than the other and two I think I can throw them in when I start the duck next time because I had to microwave them because some of them were still hard so I finished it in the microwave. I'm not worried about it. They're still gonna be delicious. But just a little tip that one, rotate the pan, and two, maybe um, throw them in a little bit sooner than I did, and you won't have that issue. What else am I looking for? Oh. A little bit more salt on these. Uh, this, this is the hard part because little girl is getting ready for bed. Like she is almost there, but not quite. So I'm just gonna hold her while I cut these into bite-sized pieces for the boys. Puke on me. So. She might have just puked on me. <laughs> That's okay. I also know the boys don't like usually the skin, so I take that off. Wait, can I try some? Yeah, you can try some. I'll put some on your plate, okay? Uh, wait, wait, wait. What? I did. Okay. I don't want I know, you like eating everything separate. So Xander basically asked that I still remove the skin, but give him a piece of skin to try. He has already been um, nibbling off the carcass of the duck, so he approves of the duck. Uh, no, your father and I need to eat also. I'm joking. <laughs> I don't know if you heard him. He asked if he could eat the whole thing. Yeah, no boy. That is not how this works. I... Uh, but he eats like a teenage boy, so he totally could. Like, he definitely could eat the whole thing if he tried because, yeah, <laughs> that is what he does. 
Jordan always gets a smaller plate because he often doesn't eat as much. Xander eats, like I said, like a teenage boy. I think that's going to end tonight because Freya needs to eat and then put down. Um, so Bobby and I will eat, but I need to feed her first. She's definitely needs to eat, but the boys are fed. Bailey, get away. Look at him. Bailey, you get away from him. No. So, chaos ensuing in my house. Typical, but I will see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna go. Bye.